bill is set. Call this meeting of the Common Council to order. Roll call, please. Peachy? Here. Miller? Here. Brandon? Lars? Here. Kelly? Here. Krause? Here. Horn? Here. Fire? Here. Mr. Brandle's excused this evening. Anyone wishing to address the council may do so we, in public participation. We ask that you please come to the podium, state your name and address for the record, and the reason for coming. Welcome, Jen. Thank you. Is that mic on? Yes, now it is. Jen Pinot, 518 Crestwood Court. And I'm here on behalf of the Jefferson Chamber of Commerce as the Executive Director. Um, I presented this, what I'm about to read to you, to my Executive Board last month, and it was very well received, and I wish I could take credit for putting it together, but I cannot. <coughs> it's something that all small communities across the U.S. are facing, and I think it's just a way to address some things that just like any other small community we are facing as well, but we're doing, we're gonna do it in a positive way. So, here we go. We are a community of possibilities, not of problems. We are action takers, we are optimistic. It's not about what this town used to be. We have people right now, assets right here, and we can take action right away. We don't need another plan, another committee, or another meeting. We can do it right now. We create the moments that show what this town could be and places that take our breath away, even if just for only a moment. What we create doesn't have to be permanent to create possibility. We don't care about titles or who holds off official positions. The people who do hold titles may not think like us, and that's okay. No one can stop us from doing the little thing that really matters. We'd rather help 10 people try their own ideas than to hold a vote and tell everyone to support the winner. That might be more efficient, but efficiency isn't always our goal. Community, that's our goal. We try everyone's ideas. We don't let statistics and negative reports beat us up. Those numbers are nothing but a snapshot in time. What we do next is up to us. We aren't changing our town to attract others to come save us. We are valuing the people who are here now and what we all want to create together. That means everyone, every single one, people of all ages, all ethnicities, all backgrounds, all incomes, people who are new in town and people who have been here for generations. All of us have ways of doing things, culture and things to share. We all want a thriving town with a future for all our generations. We thrive by doing business together. We have everything we need. We celebrate the entrepreneurs, the business people, dreamers, makers, artists, experimenters, performers, crafters, bakers, upcyclers, junkers, people who sell in booths and homes and parking lots and trucks and sheds. Together we prosper right here where we are. We are creating the community that we want one step at a time. It's nothing short of a revolution in how we build our own town together. Welcome to Jefferson, an idea-friendly community. And the reason I share this is because, again, we're not alone, and this is a direction that the chamber definitely wants to take, and we know that we can do this together. So, and the reason I bring this up also is because I do have people who stop me at baseball games or at school or come to my office or at a meeting and are sharing their ideas with me, and that to me is very exciting. And it's not always the same people. So I wanna make sure that we're tapping into our community and keeping an open mind. Thank you. Thank you, Jen. Chief. Ken Pelleggi, 226 East John Street, Jefferson, Wisconsin. Also the police chief of the great city of Jefferson. Mayor Opperman, Alder, all, um, honorable alder persons and citizens of Jefferson. Um, I come before you, um, Mayor Opperman graciously signed a mayoral proclamation next week for National Law Enforcement uh, Police Officers Week, which is May 13th to 17th, 2019, which reminds us of uh, police officers and the peril that they sometimes face in, in duty. And I just wanted to share some information with you guys today. Um, in 2019, 39 police officers in our country have been killed already in the line of duty. We lost one in Milwaukee not too long ago to gunfire. Officer uh, Matthew Rittner, a young man, 35 years old, 2018, we lost 163 police officers in the line of duty. In the last five years, we've lost 874 police officers. The last 10 years, 1,660 police officers have been killed in the line of duty. 
Total recorded American police officers killed in our country, 23,717. Historically in Wisconsin, how does that break down? We've lost 288 officers since we started recording. 65 have been killed in Milwaukee. Last year we lost two officers in Milwaukee, Officer Mahalski, and uh, who was shot in the head during an uh, incident serving a warrant, and Officer Charles Irvine Jr. was also uh, killed uh, pursuing a, a criminal suspect. 13 deputies we've lost in Milwaukee County, seven troopers. Of that 288, 203 officers have been killed in the state of Wisconsin. When you take a look at the Law Enforcement Officer Memorial Down site, it is from a lot of small communities and medium-sized communities such as Jefferson. It can strike any of us at any time with what these officers do day in and day out, where violence can strike at a moment's notice with some of the situations we deal with. Jefferson County, we've lost two officers. We lost Officer uh, Deputy William Cooper. His end of watch was... Uh, February 8, 1902, he was killed by gunfire. Officer David McKee Jr., end of watch was 4-9-68. Fort Atkinson jumped in the water trying to save a young man who was drowning and he drowned himself. Um, this is a very special year for me. I serve as a first vice president at Wisconsin Chiefs of Police Association and I invite you all next Thursday um, to please come on the 16th at 11 o'clock at the courthouse. We're going to have a, a memorial ceremony. I also am now the Jefferson County uh, Chiefs of Police President, and I'll be the master of ceremonies there, and I'd be honored if you could show up. Sarah um, has put something in your packets graciously, and I apologize. I, the dates got in between, or I would add the proclamation on the agenda that the mayor graciously signed. I just would like to... Um, read one poem and I don't mean to be legal. I know we have a bit of a busy agenda but it's a poem that I read I read a lot of stuff and there's a couple things that this one kind of hit me and it's called a policeman's heart and it says I remember when I was younger about eight years old I would hear the police sirens roar and off the wind off to the window I would go I wanted to see who they were saving or having to arrest I knew no matter what they were doing they were doing at their best I never heard anyone question or blame them for their crime I always saw respect and honor most of the time. I knew that I wanted to one day wear the badge and show it proud. I kept that dream alive for years, but I never knew what it meant until now. I put on my armor as I dress for my shift each day. I stand in front of my bathroom mirror and I slowly pray. I pray for honor and protection of my platoon. I pray the Lord keeps us safe so that we go home that afternoon. I kiss my wife and hug her before I walk out the door. I never know if I'll make it home to kiss her once more. I would kiss my two children and look at them with tears in my eye. I never know when it will be the last time that I get to say goodbye. I care about the world we live in and each and every life. I don't care about your skin color or if that woman has a wife. I don't care if you're a Christian, a Muslim, or a Jew. I will help you no matter what because I'm a policeman and that is what I do. I don't care if you're rich and full of wealth. I will help the poor the same and never think of myself. I don't care if you're old and just want to stand and talk. I will help the youngest person even if I have to help them walk. I will help you find your dog or even that little cat. I will be there with a smile on my face and wearing my taxi style hat. I will help you even if you have called me names. I will bust down the door to free you from the enemy inside. I will administer CPR or first aid just to keep you alive. I will step in front of a bullet just to save your life. I will stand and fight even if they have a knife. I will never deceive you or steal from you no matter the situation. I will be honest and respectful no matter the problem you are facing. I swore and took an oath to serve and protect my community no matter the cost. I'm a policeman. Does anyone care that one day my life could be lost? I became a policeman so that kid looking out of his front door will see the same policeman I saw and they won't have to worry anymore. If you have been mistreated, mistreated or given no respect, please don't give up on the policeman because most of us are here to protect. Wearing my badge is the greatest honor of my life. I will serve and protect with the utmost respect for life. Um, thank you very much. I truly appreciate that. The support I've gotten since being chief here in 2015, this has been the honor of my life. Um, General Patton, I think, summed it up. And he said, it is foolish and wrong to mourn the men who died. Rather, we should thank God that such men lived. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. And I will read said proclamation. 
City of Jefferson, Wisconsin, 2019 Police Week, whereas the Congress and President of the United States have designated the week of May 13th through 17th, 2019 as National Police Week. And whereas the members of the law enforcement agency of the City of Jefferson play an essential role in safeguarding the rights and freedoms of the City of Jefferson. And whereas it is important that all citizens know and understand the duties, responsibilities, hazards, and sacrifices of their law enforcement agency. And that members of our law enforcement agency recognize their duty to serve the people by safeguarding life and property, by protecting them against violence and disorder, and by protecting the innocent against deception and the weak against oppression. Whereas the men and women of the law enforcement agency of the city of Jefferson unceasingly provide a vital public service. Now therefore, I, Dale Opperman, mayor of the city of Jefferson, call upon all citizens of Jefferson and upon all patriotic, civic, and educational organizations to observe the week of May 13th through 17th, 2019 as police week with appropriate ceremonies and observances in which their faithful and loyal devotion to their responsibilities have rendered a dedicated service to their communities and in doing so have established themselves an enviable and enduring reputation for preserving the rights and security of all citizens. I further call upon all citizens of Jefferson to remember all law enforcement officers who, through their courageous deeds, have made the ultimate sacrifice in service to their community or have become disabled in the performance of duty. And let us recognize and pay respects to the survivors of our fallen heroes, dated this seventh day of May, 2019. Thank you, Chief, for the opportunity to recognize our law enforcement. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else that would like to address the council? Seeing no one, we'll move on to number three, a status update on the police department reconstruction. Welcome Doug Belke, Moss Brothers Construction. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Mr. Freitag asked me to stop by and just give you an update. And uh, basically last time I was here, we were discussing moving in I believe sometime in early to mid-March and since then that's that's happened and it's fully occupied and everything is uh, basically good with our state approval occupancies and so forth so what's left to do or since you moved in we did have some exterior work to do we finished up the outside cladding of the, the siding on the west side and the north side and some miscellaneous concrete patching and about all there is left to do con contractually is to uh, take care of the landscaping, the front yard, well, actually the side yard also. Uh, very weather dependent. Well, hope we can get a break here maybe in the next week or two and see where we go from there. Our landscaper's good and ready to go. Uh, contractually and dollars wise, pretty good. It, went, it tracked pretty well. Uh, as far as any additional work or unforeseen, so we started with a, approximately a $1.8 million project. We had two contingencies for the project. We had uh, uh, winter conditions for the masonry work and some earthwork and so on. And that, that contingency was around $65,000, I believe. And the uh, building project contingency was about Sixty-five thousand dollars. We had about one hundred and thirty thousand combined, <clears throat> and as of today, there's about forty-eight thousand dollars remaining in those two contingencies. So, unless there would be something that something would change here with the landscaping here at the end, it was a very successful project, I guess, monetarily. Um, I don't know. If there's anything else I can add to that? Does anybody have any questions about anything or? Any questions of Doug? Just a comment. Tim. Uh, so, I, you know, I really wanted to take the opportunity oh, to I thank uh, Moss Brothers and um, I, I'm sure the council realizes that, um, you know, this is a project that you know, you really didn't know quite what you were going to run into until you got into the building and started ripping things apart, just given the problems we were attempting to uh, 
direct. Um, but you know, it's always good for me to be able to tell you that a uh, our construction manager delivered the project uh, on time, actually a little ahead of schedule, and within uh, the uh, resources of the budget that. That, that you approved. And that was a little tricky because you didn't quite know what you were going to find until you got it ripped apart. But um, um, I just, I want to say you really did a really good job and uh, it was really a wise decision on the part of the city to uh, to retain your firm to, to do the work. Well, we appreciate that. That's, that's what we do. And I think a lot of the success went to the ability to get in there and root for the problems before we put it out for bid. So we kind of knew what we were getting at. And with that, the, the chief and the utilities, they, they had to deal with, you know, construction noise and <laughs> yeah, we don't enhance anybody's life when we show up. <laughs> well, you sure made it a lot better now. Yeah. So yep. Thank you for well, that. It's a great job. All right. I'm all right, thank you, and thanks thank you. for thanks for coming to letting us be part of it. Thanks for that. Sure. Please extend our thanks to everybody back in Moss Brothers. I know you will. Next, we move on to resolution number four, tonight's consent agenda. Alderman Tully, please. Thank you, Mayor. City of Jefferson, resolution number four. Be it resolved by the Common Council of the City of Jefferson, Wisconsin, that the consent agenda for May 7, 2019 is hereby adopted. A, we had vouchers payable for April and May 2019 in the amounts of $676.29 and $219,740.11. and and Payroll summary for April 26, 2019 in the amount of $164,588.46. B, we had council minutes from the April 16, 2019 Common Council meeting. And C, we had licenses as approved by the Regulatory Committee. Operators licenses, we had two. We had Sarah Heiser for Speedway Gas Station. And we had Chris Cooper for Spirits Wild. Uh, Chris's license is subject to him submitting all the proper information to City Hall. He has that. He just has to email that over and be approved by uh, city staff. Special Class B licenses, we had St. John's Lutheran for June 1st, 2019 at 232 East Church Street here in Jefferson. We also had Country va Line Vans for their event at the Jefferson County Fairgrounds. That will run from June 13th to June 16th, 2019. And the other licenses we had were Sale of Goods for the Con Council of the Performing Arts. This will run from May 31st to August 23rd, the last Friday of each month, to, s to sell their annual brats at the corner of Main Street and Dodge Street. I would so move. It's been moved. Is there a second? Second. Second by Alderman Lars. Any discussion? <laughs> Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, if there are no other questions or comments. All in favor of approval of the consent agenda, please signify by saying aye. As Sarah calls your name, no if you're opposed. Um, Alderman Miller. Aye. Lars? Aye. Tully? Aye. Gross? Aye. Horn? Aye. Bayer? Aye. Peachy? Aye. It's unanimous. Thank you. Resolution number five, a resolution authorizing a development agreement for the Candai Street loss. Alderwoman Byer, please. Honorable Mayor, Council Members and Citizens, City of Jefferson, Resolution number five. Be it resolved by the Common Council of the City of Jefferson, Wisconsin, that it herein approves a develop, developer agreement between the City of Jefferson and Gorman and Company, LLC, for the redevelopment of property located at 138 Kansas Street Candid Street and authorizes the mayor and city clerk to execute said agreement on behalf of the city of Jefferson. I would so move. It's been moved. Is there a second? Second. Second by Alderman Kraus. Discussion. We had a discussion on this in closed session in the Committee of the Whole this evening. Uh, did anyone have any other questions or comments regarding the development agreement with Gorman? Hearing none, all in favor of resolution number five, please signify by saying aye. As Sarah calls your name, no if you're opposed. Alderman Lars. Aye. Tully? Aye. Kraus? Aye. Horn? Aye. Bayer? Aye. Peachy? Aye. Miller? Aye. Thank you. It's unanimous. <coughs> resolution number six is stricken from the agenda tonight. That will be brought back at a future meeting. Resolution number seven, a res resolution authorizing a cleaning contract 
for the police department city hall and senior center alderman crows please thank you honorable mayor fellow council members and citizens of jefferson um city of jefferson resolution number seven be resolved by the common council of the city of jefferson wisconsin that the city administrator is hereby authorized to enter into a contract for cleaning services for the city hall senior center and police department with Coolman's cleaning service be resolved that the contract shall include cleaning supplies and the contract amount shall not exceed twenty two thousand eight hundred dollars annually i would so move it's been moved is there a second 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 by alderman horn any discussion <coughs> mayor this was unanimous at finance thank you any other questions or comments Seeing none, all in favor of resolution number seven, please signify by saying aye. Sarah calls your name. No, if you're opposed. Alderman Tully. Aye. Kraus? Aye. Horn? Aye. Bayer? Aye. Peachy? Aye. Miller? Aye. Lars? Aye. It's unanimous. Thank you. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Mr. Second. Peachy, Mr. <laughs> Lars, on a voice vote, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you. We are adjourned.